Welcome to the channel, Excellence, where we strive for excellence. We strive to be one better than what we were yesterday. Now, one thing in life we've been taught, we've been trained to listen to, and that's his story. What is history? That's his story. That's somebody else's story. Right now, I'm going to tell you my story. This is my story. This is how this one's going to go. This story is an honor of my cousin, Wendell Bennett, big baby, <clears throat> passed away. <clears throat> but he just passed on to form divine. He left that fleshly form. See? He have to no longer deal with things of the flesh. He can deal with the spirit. I know for sure that he 100% in spirit. My pop's earthright days, well, Wendell's earthright days, it's August the 27th. My dad's earthrights, it's August the 28th, which my dad, his dad, my mother, his mother, everybody was super close, real close. I mean, real, real close. So, you know, in honor of my cuz, I'm going to do what cuz would want me to do. It's hard. For me, let me get myself right. I got to smoke this. It's hard for me to demonstrate the true unconditional love that I have for my family and my friends. Because I can be very emotional within myself. But I try to fight back a lot of the tears. But we know Jesus wept. Why did Jesus weep? He wept for Lazarus. A lot of times, I weep for my family. And this is the time. Showtime. Big baby. That's for you. That's for you. That's for you. <laughs> It's for you. <laughs> I trust. <clears throat> and I know. Without a doubt of contradiction. We'll meet again. <clears throat> when I say <clears throat> every every living thing is bound by core to every other living thing And blessed are the pure of heart. For they will learn to love. And not to make him love in return. We never know when our days will come. We don't know what's ahead of us. But 
I know every time I lose one of my loved ones, it's a thrill through my heart. It disturbs me. It has an effect on my consciousness. It has an effect on how I choose to love you. Whether you choose to love me or not. Give a damn. I got one life to live. And there are many things to choose. I'm just so glad that I chose to do it right. Because to lay down and speak to my cousin in spirit and he tell me, cuz, keep doing what you're doing. You are making a difference. Because I talked to him this morning, I don't know about y'all. Because like I said, I stay in spirit. And I keep all the spirits alive within me. And if you think his spirit ain't gonna be alive within me, you got me twisted. I remember the day he was born. And my mama got in the car and drove all the way from Detroit to Port Hit Run just to see Mary Ann bring him home. I was out there throwing rocks at a, at a little girl down the street at that time. She knows who she is. <laughs> and that spiritual connection still goes strong. We gotta wake up. Watch what's going on in this universe. We was chosen and put on this earth to be a family for a reason. So each one can teach one and we can reach one. And we can raise to our highest state of consciousness so that we can live in one heart, in the yoke of one egg, in unity. The only way you can do that is to put love out front. So when you learn to love instead of hate, Put that love out there. See, that's 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 coming from Big Baby. That's coming from that heart. Put that love out there. Just keep that love out front. We feel that love. See, everything on this earth is nothing but vibrating energy. It's nothing but vibrate energy. See, as long as you're sending out that positive, vibrating energy, that unconditional love, it's there. See, like I said before, God ordained me personally, personally, through my trials and tribulations in the courts, in the hearts of family, friends, in the hearts of everyone to deliver the divine message of unconditional love. We're going to turn this world into paradise, see, where we can see rainbow-colored people living happy as can be. See, that's deja vu. Yeah. Yeah, I've been here before. Mm -hmm. We all have. See, when we came to earth, we came to remember who we were. You see, you just read your, your mind was just erased. So you can go back and trace yourself back to the source from which you come. Thus you will know. See, a mastermind know that. Once you master your mind, 
and stay out of other people's business. <coughs> Don't worry about nobody else. Because you would kick venom on a whole lot of people and put a whole lot of people down. But then when they pass that physical form, now you want to glorify them. See, that was proven with Jesus. See, Jesus did a mighty work. But as he did his work and the way he did it was unapproven to society and the way that they was running things. Because they was running things asshole backwards. Teaching people lies and deceiving them from birth. And teaching them to teach people to lie. See, if it say thou shall not lie, why would we teach everybody and all our children to believe in Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, and all these other hocus pocus ass bullshit? See, start keeping stuff real. And be real within yourself. I refuse to take anybody's bullshit for an answer. You come to me with that bullshit and I'm going to correct you right there. And I'm going to tell you what you brought to me. And I'm going to tell you what you can take back with you and get the fuck away from me. See, I no longer stand for silence. See, I'm going to speak my mind. Upright, independent, and fearless. Me and Wendell used to have so much fun, riding motorcycles, hunting, doing everything. And that's my little brother. That's like a little brother to me. So I just want y'all to do one thing for me right now. I just want y'all to take a moment of silence. Love you, big baby. Remember one thing, man. Your life was tried, but it was true. You know, you was never called until your life works was done. You know, the cause of death are always for the best. I know fail well that you are solving problems there way harder than we are solving here. And I know we all will meet up again soon. And eternal happiness and eternal peace. I come to all of y'all in love. I leave y'all in peace. To all of the Bennett family, I give my condolence, my love to all of you. Y'all have a blessed day. Stay strong and remember, Wendell's smiling right now. When I woke up this morning, and I was thinking about him. All I could see was a smile on his face and him hugging his mother and father and my father there too. And our many more of our ancestors. See, we keep our ancestors alive through the spirit that's in our heart. I come to y'all in love. I leave y'all in peace. I'm out.